Cervical cancer is a disease in which the cells of the cervix become abnormal and start to grow uncontrollably, forming tumors. In the United States, cervical cancer is the fifth most common cancer among women aged 35 to 54, and the third most common cancer of the female reproductive tract. In some developing countries, it is the most common type of cancer. It generally begins as an abnormality in the cells on the outside of the cervix. Approximately 90% of cervical cancers are squamous cell carcinomas. This type of cancer originates in the thin, flat, squamous cells on the surface of the ectocervix, the part of the cervix that is next to the vagina. Squamous cells are the thin, flat cells of the surfaces of the skin and cervix and linings of various organs. Another 10% of cervical cancers are of the adenocarcinoma type. This cancer originates in the mucus-producing cells of the inner or endocervix, near the body of the uterus. Occasionally, the cancer may have characteristics of both types and is called adenosquamous carcinoma or mixed carcinoma. The initial changes that may occur in some cervical cells are not cancerous. However, these precancerous cells form a lesion called dysplasia or a squamous intraepithelial lesion since it occurs within the epithelial or outer layer of cells. These abnormal cells can also be described as cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. Moderate to severe dysplasia may be called carcinoma in situ or non-invasive cervical cancer. Dysplasia is a common condition and the abnormal cells often disappear without treatment. However, these precancerous cells can become cancerous. This may take years, although it can happen in less than a year. Eventually, the abnormal cells start to grow uncontrollably into the deeper layers of the cervix, becoming an invasive cervical cancer. Although cervical cancer used to be one of the most common causes of cancer death among American women, in the past 40 years there has been a 75% decrease in mortality. This is primarily due to routine screening with pap tests, pap smear, to identify precancerous and early invasive stages of cervical cancer. With treatment, these conditions have a cure rate of nearly 100%. The incidence of cervical cancer is highest among poor women and among women in developing countries. In the United States, the death rates from cervical cancer are higher among Hispanic, Native American, and African American women than among Caucasian women. These groups of women are much less likely to receive regular pap tests. Therefore, their cervical cancers usually are diagnosed at a much later stage, after the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Symptoms of invasive cervical cancer Most women do not have symptoms of cervical cancer until it has become invasive. At that point, the symptoms may include unusual vaginal discharge, light vaginal bleeding or spots of blood outside of normal menstruation, pain or vaginal bleeding with sexual intercourse postmenopausal vaginal bleeding. Once the cancer has invaded the tissue surrounding the cervix, a woman may experience pain in the pelvic region and heavy bleeding from the vagina. Most often, cervical cancer is first detected with a pap test that is performed as part of a regular pelvic examination. The vagina is spread with a metal or plastic instrument called a speculum. A swab is used to remove mucus and cells from the cervix. This sample is sent to a laboratory for microscopic examination. Following an abnormal pap test, a colposcopy is usually performed. The physician uses a magnifying scope to view the surface of the cervix. The cervix may be coated with an iodine solution that causes normal cells to turn brown and abnormal cells to turn white or yellow. This is called a Schiller test. If any abnormal areas are observed, a colposcopic biopsy may be performed. A biopsy is the removal of a small piece of tissue for microscopic examination by a pathologist. Following a diagnosis of cervical cancer, the physician takes a medical history and performs a complete physical examination. This includes an evaluation of symptoms and risk factors for cervical cancer. The lymph nodes are examined for evidence that the cancer has spread from the cervix. The choice of treatment depends on the clinical stage of the disease. For cervical cancers that are diagnosed in the pre-invasive stage, the five-year survival rate is almost 100%.
When cervical cancer is detected in the early invasive stages, approximately 91% of women survive five years or more. Stage IVB cervical cancer is not considered to be curable. The five-year survival rate for all cervical cancers combined is about 70%. The death rate from cervical cancer continues to decline by about 2% each year. Women over age 65 account for 40-50% to of all deaths from cervical cancer. About 4,100 women died of the disease in the United States in 2020.